everybody and welcome back this one here and today we're gonna keep playing uh, Ocean Horn Monster of the Uncharted Sea if if I remember correctly name of the game so uh, in the last episode we were just fucking around we got our father sword which is neat and uh, the old hermit ooh shit that's that is skeleton quickly Thank you, thank you. Be gone, you devils! Wow. These, these guys were tough. Thank you, kid. The necklace must have attracted these dark creatures. Just as your father feared, monster and evil forces have disturbed the balance of the world. Your destiny is tied to Ocean Horn, just like your father's. It is no use to hide any longer. All right. Old scriptures tell about sacred emblems, relics that hold the power of gods. Their purpose was to maintain the balance of the world, but they lost their power in the catastrophe at the same time as Ocean Horn appeared. I believe that was no coincidence. To unravel the mystery of Ocean Horn, you must find out what happened to the sacred emblems. Here is what I know of them. The emblem of Earth that belongs to the Aru people is hidden in the Perta Desert that was once a vast and beautiful forest. Most of its beauty withered along with the Aurus, wise and fearless bird people. Hmm. The emblem of ocean belongs to Gilfolk, the people living in the waters of the world. Zora's emblem of ocean pretty much is a relic of their long past glory. And Gorons, oh, I don't remember the Goron equ equivalent for uh, Wind Waker. The emblem of sun was the pride of Arcadia, a symbol of hope and determination for our kind. I will tell you more about it later. It is time to begin your journey. Seek the sacred emblems. Yay! This is the only Aren't way to out? get to Ocean Horn. That's going to find great. out what happened to your father. You will learn about the islands of uncharted seas from your father's notebook. First, you should go and talk to people on Tikarel Island. Take this key. It opens the doors to the pier where your boat is kept. Godspeed! I got the master key? Is that, is that what I got? Uh, let's see... Can I steal your shit, old man, now? Yes! Give me! Oh, a hot container, that's awesome! Oh no, that's just a uh, quarter hot. But still, that's nice. Alright. Uh, is there... Is there another chest somewhere that I missed? Maybe. Thank you! Thank you! Alright. Open scene. Oh, was there something in my hut? I think there might have been. I'm not sure. Sorry, guys. I'm just gonna quickly. Oh yeah, that's how we rush. All right. So yeah, basically what I was saying is that uh, in in the last episode, in case you were paying attention before I got caught up in the story. Oh, nothing there. Was that uh, I think that today's gaming uh, needs more. Uh, like genre committed games uh, and by that I mean like a game that well we, we get we developed all these very cool um, game styles during the 90s and now it feels like everybody's trying to create the ultimate game so they just want to shove all the different elements into one game but without taking any sort of risk or real direction Ooh, that's nice. 
can turn through mysterious seashell. Maybe it can be to help on your quest. Yes. And I guess I will go to Tikarel. Ooh, that's nice. Alright. Let's go! Ooh, that's so Wind Waker. Um, <coughs> so yeah, um, basically, I think that having like a, this real kind of uh, type of game. Ooh, do you have something for me, sir? Nope. All right, never mind. Can I steer? Or no? I don't know. I, it feels like. Not really. I'm just watching over the round. What's what's happening? Anyway, for instance, um, look out for uh, uh, for instance here. Yeah, um, what's it called? Uh, World of Final Fantasy. Basically, it's a Pokemon game, and Pokemon like develop their formula uh, around um, uh, around the, the early nineties. And they were kind of based on games such as uh, I think that what was it Shining Force, the game where you have, can like recruit tons of fighters and like all, all turn-based RPGs and such. And um, what a wonderful little village! And the idea of you know, capturing monsters, training them was myself. awesome and was I think based on. There's no time to rest, though. I'll just mm -hmm. ask for directions and move along. All right, so let's just fi try to find our way. Um, so yeah, uh, what I was saying, yeah, it, that's a formula that has been uh, like developed uh, like maybe uh, almost 20 years ago. Aren't bombs just wonderful? You can use them to open new path and blow up blocking object. You should buy them at Bomb Island if you have a chance. Uh, I think you might be a terrorist, so I, I'm just gonna call the cops. Anyway, uh, so yeah, uh, that's a great formula and everybody loves it. Uh, Pokemon have been selling like shit tons of games. Hi Ophelia, I had a great trip, but on my way. But on my way back, I got seasick. I was happy that the captain knew a small place to take some rest before going home. He called it Sandbar. I was able to get a strain there. That's. Do you really communicate like texts through bottle messages? And uh, also, yeah, that's that's a great formula. And it took like 20 years for somebody to say, "Hey, that's a great formula. Let's make another game that's uh, basically kind of Pokemon, uh, but like with different a different story, a different universe. I don't know, something different. You can say that Digimon was kind of doing the same thing, but I don't know, they just like, they didn't really add anything into it and they just, uh, I, I'm sure I'm gonna be like shunned by Digimon fans, but your adventure level will rise as you slay monsters, take on challenges and get achievements. Those blue diamonds represent your experience, XP, and depending on how many you have collected, the Adventurer's Guild will grant you a matching level. You can always check the menu to see how many diamonds you have to collect to search the next to reach the next level. And so yeah, basically Final Fantasy came out and did like Pokemon Final Fantasy and that was great. Although I must say that I think that the variety of like monsters is lacking. Last year I took part in this stupid trip to Riverlands. I was hoping to see an Oru temple. But all I saw was empty wasteland, and I got sand in my boots and burned my skin. Why would anyone want to go there? It's true, man. Like, burn skin and sand on your boots, that's not fun. And you? The festival of sun is, a, is an important tradition to us. It predates even the catastrophe. There is no such darkness in the world that could keep us from celebrating Sol, our goddess. Thank you. Very pretty, sir. Nice. Can I go to your? Can I just check your place out and break the pots? 
so yeah, that there was there were like little uh, quirks I must say about the world of Final Fantasy formula. But I, I just realized that well, that's crazy that it took so long for people to just try to take a lesson from these games and just like take inspired from it. I don't think that's stealing. I guess like all these games are. Uh, once, once one game is really truly innovative, it just like brings something completely different to uh, to to the game like, landscape. All the fish are scared of the restless beast that has been seen in this water. When the night comes, I can hear its ancient sound that drains joy out of you. Ooh, that's, that sounds fucked up. Dementor, welcome to my shop. What would you love? Oh, well, uh, what do you have? Second chance. But I don't have enough money. I don't think I have any bottles. And such radar. Ooh, I think that's something that I should get. And these too. But I need to find a lot of money. So yeah, all these games are bringing something new to the table and I think that's just... If you want the game landscape to progress, you get to uh, take inspiration from it and not always try to... Not really take things from, for, from scraps either because most of the game are just like rehashing very old genre and like reusing old formulas, but I don't know, that sounds weird to me. They say that a thousand years ago, before the catastrophe, the kingdom of Arcadia stretched from north to south. That's a very specific say to thing to say to someone who just bars into your house. There were other kingdoms as well, and each was protected by a sacred... I can really understand why you're just all alone and miserable in your house, if that's all you're rambling about all the time. Ooh. Let's see. Basements. And rats. You, sir, you really have a... A rat problem there. Not, I'm not judging, but I think that you get to improve your uh, home hygiene. Definitely. Alright. And I'm a Wetharer. What did I get? Pumpkin seed gun for your boat. That's nice. Alright. Uh, Alright, so what, what was I here, here for? Not exactly remember. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to. What I'm supposed to do? I'm supposed to find out something. I'm I'm supposed to find in information about the emblems, and get on my way to get them. So I guess go to the forest lookout. Arcadia. We got torn from our past, but nothing can take away our future. Well said. Uh, Alright, so let's find the most important looking or inaccessible looking house in this place. And I think that's this one, basically. So there is a tunnel coming out from there. And I guess that's how you reach it. Uh, maybe this way? Maybe? It's Nelly's vegetable garden. Are you Nelly? The festival of sun is coming. My father is busy, is busy working, preparing his fireworks. No one is allowed to go to Humming Hill before his work is finished. Thank you, Nelly, for this useful piece of information. Uh, ooh. Let's see. Can I give this drop? Oh. Can I dash on it? No. Can I fall? Yes. Yes, I can. Ooh, a guild folk. I collect bloodstones. Ooh, that seems dark. Around the world, I have collected the, them from the water of the world, but I can't reach places far from water. Hey, why don't you help me? If you bring me enough, I'll give you something special. That's nice. This game just gonna slowly turn into Bloodborne. And this is a so cleaver. Now go out and 
hunt the beasts until you're covered in blood. Anyway. Alright guys, uh, well, thank you so much for watching. I think that's gonna be it for today. Uh, um, so yeah, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the show, don't hesitate to like, comment or subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. In the meantime, please take care. Love you all. Bye-bye.